Hey everybody, it's me, Jimmy Flyers guy, and I want to come on here. Since it's the anniversary of the Flyers' epic comeback against the Bruins in the 2010 semifinals, I thought I'd come on here and talk about that day. But this time, I'm gonna talk about the full story. I wanna be in, in I wanna be more in depth. With this story in depth, in depth with the, with this story. So here's how the whole day went down. That day, the Flyers came back against the Boston Bruins. It all started on May. It all started on May fourteenth, two thousand ten. But let's go back before all this happened, and let's go back. To the beginning. Let's go back to the beginning when the series with the Flyers and the Bruins officially started. In game one, it was a back and forth, a back and forth battle, which the Flyers had tied up. The Boston Bruins were able to get the first win in, the, in game one. Game two, Flyers tried again to come back, but it was Boston again getting the victory. In game two, but this time it was in regulation. Then game three happened. And Boston, the Flyers were able to get only one goal. And it was Aaron Asham who got the goal for the Flyers. But it was all Boston as Boston cruised away with a 4 1 victory over the Philadelphia Flyers in game three. The Flyers had their backs, backs against the wall. Down three games and on, the Flyers had to find a way to come back in this series. And it all started in Game 4. It all started in, in Game 4. The Flyers were able to, in Game 4, the Flyers were able to get a victory in Game 4 over the Boston Bruins. Flyers got the victory in Game 3, and the comeback was started. Then Game 5 happened, and it was shifted right back to Boston. Actually, in Game 4, it was Simone Gagne. And, oh, actually, wait. It shifted back to Boston. Flyers got a shutout victory over the Boston Bruins. Ryan Boucher went down to injury. Ryan, Michael Layton was taken out of the game. Wait, wait, wait. Ryan Boucher was injured in that game. And Michael Layton stepped in as the Philadelphia Flyers got a shutout victory. A shared shutout between Michael Layton and Ryan Boucher. The series was officially tied. Three to three series. Flyers got the victory in Game 4, and in Game 2, they were still on the verge of coming back. Flyers' game shifted back to Philly in a crucial Game 6, which had the Flyers winning the game as Simone Gagne got the overtime game-winning goal for the Philadelphia Flyers, tying up the series at 6-6. Six six. And now we're on that faith. Faithful day, May 14th, 2010. I got up that day with a, with a headache. My head was killing me, and I felt kind of nauseous. I didn't think anything of it. So I went to my do doctor's appointment that night, that day. Went to the hospital, got a checkup. I ended up coming home. My Uncle Joe was, was, uh... He was here. He came to visit. And Michael Joe came to visit. And that's when I got the call from the doctors that my potassium was really high. I had to be rushed to the emergency room on that. My name was my dad drove me to the emergency room to um get my potassium checked. And my first thought was, how am I going to watch this game? 
how the heck am I gonna see this game? Luckily, the room I was gonna have the game already on the TV. And this game started out very, uh, a little iffy in the beginning. Fires went down 3 to nothing over the Boston Bruins in the first period. The comeback started in the second period. James Van Riemsdyk got the uh, comeback started, and it was 3 1. Shortly after that, Scott Hartnell got a goal, and it was a one goal game. Going into the third period, the Flyers had tied the game as Danny Briere got the tying goal for the Philadelphia Flyers. It was the third period, and with seven minutes left in the period, it was some. Simone Gagne, who got the overtime game winner in Game 7 against the Boston Bruins. The epic comeback was completed, and the Flyers did one of the great the Flyers did one of the greatest things in, in Flyers history. And that was come back from three games and on for the first time in Flyers history. The first team that did that for the Flyers was the New York Islanders. The Flyers, the Flyers were an excited bunch, and the city of Philadelphia was excited for the Eastern Conference Finals. Everyone in Philadelphia kept talking about the Flyers. Everyone from everyone in the neighborhood, people couldn't stop talking about the Philadelphia Flyers. After that epic win. I have a newspaper clipping of that epic win somewhere. I hope I can find it again. But let me tell you, being a Flyers fan, this is the most exciting moment of my life. In that hospital, when Gagne scored that goal, my heart rate officially went up. And luckily, my potassium problem surely went away after that. And it was one of the best days of my life. I went home that day and I went to sleep. I actually got to go home that day. They sent me home, they discharged me. And when I got home, I went to bed filled with pride. I went to sleep thinking that this was one of the greatest Moments in Flyers history. And then those moments got even better when they advanced to the Eastern Conference Finals. This comeback over the Bruins. This comeback over the Bruins gave the Flyers that push that they needed to get into the Eastern Conference Finals. But the Flyers won. And the Flyers became 2010 Eastern Conference champions. I'm glad that I could come on here and talk about such a great moment and what led up to it. I enjoyed every minute of this, and this was the best time to be a Flyers fan. And I'm glad that we have the opportunity to celebrate the anniversary of the epic 2010 comeback over the Boston Bruins. This was one of the greatest moments in Flyers history. And a moment to remember, and a moment that will live in the hearts of every Philadelphia Flyers fan. This was the year, the year I was happy to be a Flyers fan. In 2023, 2024 it didn't end the way we wanted to end, but it was still fun. And it still kind of reminded me of how the Flyers were able to rebuild. It took the Flyers a couple of years to get in this position. 2008, they were eliminated by the Pittsburgh Penguins in the third round. And the year before that, the Flyers did not even have a sniff in playoff competition that year. 
and in 2009, Flyers were eliminated by the Pittsburgh Penguins in the first round. The Flyers were not done yet, and they knew that 2009-2010 was going to be the year things were going to get real good. Although it didn't really start out that way. As the Flyers had a good start, things started with the wheels started to fall off. Injuries started to pile up. John Stevens was replaced by Peter Laviolette that year. And the Flyers' chances kept dwindling and dwindling. But the Flyers kept going. They kept persevering, and they kept fighting, fighting adversity. And finally, with a victory over the New York Rangers in a shootout in 2010, it propelled the Flyers. It propelled the Flyers into, it propelled the Flyers into one of the greatest seasons of all time. Nobody expected the Flyers to do what they did. That your people counted the Flyers out. They kept saying there wasn't a chance that this team was going to make the playoffs. That this team had the opportunity. A lot of people predicted that when the Flyers won that last game of the season making the playoffs, people said, that the Flyers weren't going to be able to get past the New Jersey Devils. They did that. People said that the Bruins were going to be a tough opponent for the Flyers to get past. The Flyers did that in comeback fashion. And nobody, and people said that the Canadians, the Flyers, were no match for the Montreal Canadiens. What did the Flyers do? They proved everyone wrong. Yes, they didn't win the cup, but they got pretty damn far. Farther than anybody thought they could go. And that is why I'm going to come on here and tell my story of where I was at the day the Flyers came back against the Bruins in the 2010 conference semifinals. I am so happy. I can share this video with you guys. I'm so happy that I can celebrate one of the greatest moments in Flyers history. I'm Timmy Flyers Guy. Thank you for joining me. And like always, in the comment, in the comment section, please tell me where you were at and what you were doing when the Philadelphia Flyers came back against the Bruins in the 2010 conference semifinals. I want to see a lot of comments from every single Philadelphia Flyers fan. I want to see people tell me where they were at and tell me what they were doing when the Flyers came back against the Bruins in the 2010 Eastern Conference semifinals. Guys, thank you, and have a great day. I'm like a little ace. One day, like a flyer said, I'm going to tell you one day, we're going to have moments like that once again. And they're going to be pretty sweet moments. Thank you for joining me. I'm like always, let's go Flyers.